Hello, good afternoon. It's early October in uh, my Wisconsin apiary and most of my beehives are in these 5 over 5 configurations getting ready towards winter. When winter comes I'm going to group them together in groups of four and put a, uh, a, a cover over the very top and some uh, bits of um, insulation or cardboard between them so they can share their heat. But if you've got um, a only one hive and you want to overwinter it and you don't have the ability to share heat, um, you might not feel very comfortable about it. And I thought that actual purpose-built styrofoam hives are uh, quite expensive. And so being cheap, I thought, what can I do about that? So went to um, Walmart, went online and have found the Husky Hercules ice duty chest, heavy duty ice duty chest. Basically it's a beer can holder. Now this is one before I adulterated it any way other than painting it and you'll notice that it's actually it's actually quite deep. It's about a foot or so deep and I forget the exact width for it is 12 or 13 inches wide but to complicate matters it actually tapers this way and tapers this way so the problem was well several problems one problem is how do you deal with that and then another problem is you can't actually have bees touching styrofoam bees will chew the styrofoam to pieces so to remedy the depth situation what I did was I took a two inch piece of styrofoam put that down then put a three eighths piece of ply lay that across the bottom and then as you notice the width of it not the width of it the length of it it is it's also too long so I cobbled together some uh, lawn sign and some more um, some more 3 8 ply and have made a, a sleeve to, of plywood to fit inside and then additionally it had this lip on the top of it this lip is it's nice for its intended purpose but it's superfluous to mine so I uh, so what I did was I cut that off now as I mentioned the bees will want to chew on the styrofoam so how would you make an entrance hole in and out for them so what I did for that was I used a hot knife and cut a rough square as you can see that's a very rough square I don't even think I can call it a square anyway I cut this shape into the front of the styrofoam and this is an off cut of it and then I corked that in and so the bees seeing the entrance should be chewing around here and hopefully not chewing onto the styrofoam and so this is what it looks like when it's completed. If you come to the front, you'll see uh, that is actually, it looks like a mid entrance, but it's actually a bottom entrance. That is bottom and flush with the bottom of the hive. This is an upper three quarter alga hole. And I put these little screws in there because I've been reading this book that Mike Palmer recommended and the honeybee a guide for beekeepers by vr vickery particle press he's a canadian bee beekeeper or he was i'm not sure if he's still alive and what he what he observed was that when bees um have the wind blowing directly through the entrance in canada it forces them to be on one side of the hive or the other and so what he did was he had a little little um, cover in front to a baffle to baffle from the wind and so whilst I haven't got that those made yet or determined if I'm actually going to do that because we're in Wisconsin and not Canada I thought I can if I put the screws in I can always rest them on afterwards and then be done with it I have a mouse guard here and I'm gonna lift the lid and show you what it looks like inside so inside I have the Inside I have this sleeve of plywood, I have the 
lawn sign all around so the bees shouldn't be able to contact the foam and the frames will fit like this now one thing I want to point out is this actual this hole here um, fits around there and so um, fits around there meets around there and when you have the frames together the Hoffman shoulders touch and so the wind or the breeze doesn't blow directly in between the comb Initially, I thought I was going to use, uh, just make this even smaller and just do five frames. And then I thought, well, what's the point of that? Because when I measured out the space, I found I could actually fit eight frames. So in a few minutes, when, uh, when I'm done, I'm going to, uh, done with the video, I'm going to take the bees out of this box. These are in five frames. You can look over the top. They, that's just the feeder shell cover. These are in five frames. I'm going to take those out and put them in here with with three frames of honey I've got, and then that'll be that'll be in eight frames, and we'll see what they'll do. Now, to stop the bees chewing on the lid, I'll put that on, and then I'll put this on. and I'll put some weight on, and then the long winter weight. This isn't Canada, this is Wisconsin. This is just something different in wintering if you've just got the odd hive. Thank you.